Hi, Ben here. I work as a professional chemist where I use a computer to simulate materials. I thought it might be fun to show off some of the free software I've been using so that teachers and students can get a very basic introduction to quantum chemistry. In this video, I'll start off by showing you how to make 3D models of simple molecules using IQMOL. IQMOL is an open source piece of software which is available on a variety of platforms. I'm just going to take a pause here so you can download it and work alongside me. When we first open IQMOL, you see you have this large blue display space, a model view toolbar to the left, and then the history to the bottom left. You also see this main toolbar at the top. The first thing we're going to do is make a molecule of methane. We're going to ensure that we are in build mode and that the element that we are building with is carbon. Left clicking anywhere in this display window will place our first carbon atom. Now we could manually place the hydrogen atoms around this, but if we click the Add Hydrogens button on the toolbar, IQMOL will do this for us. And you'll notice it has placed four hydrogen atoms around the carbon atom in a tetrahedral shape. Let's take a better look at this molecule. If we switch to manipulate mode here, and then we left click and drag around the display area, we can have a really nice look at this molecule of methane that we've made. In fact, if we click, drag and release, we can even spin it round for us and have a really nice little look. We can also zoom in and out with a scroll wheel, or if we right click and drag, we can translate the molecule in space. If you want to use this structure of molecule for anything else, if you simply go to file and then save picture, simply type in the name, hit save, and when you get to this image settings, I would make sure that you tick this use white background button, which will make sure that the background is white rather than the customary blue. The rest of these settings feel free to play with as you fancy. The result is a nice crisp image of a methane molecule, which you can use in presentations or teaching or projects as you please. Let's make some different molecules. The first thing we're going to need to do is delete methane. If we choose select mode, which is this wand, and then we left click on each atom that we wish to delete, and then finally we click delete up here, we will get rid of the molecule we just made. Let's have a look at a molecule of water. If we go back to build mode, and we choose a different atom, this time oxygen, just as with methane, we left click to place it. And then, just as with methane, we go to add hydrogens to place those. This time, you see that IQMOL has given us this bent structure for water, which is exactly what we expect. Again, feel free to save a picture of this. If you want to use it in any teaching materials, or school projects. But let's try and make something a little more interesting. Specifically, I think we should try and make a molecule of ethanol. First, just as before, we'll delete the water molecule using the select mode and then deleting the selection. First, we'll use build mode and we'll place the first carbon atom, just as with methane. And now if we click and drag away from this atom, we will place the second carbon atom attached to it with this here single bond. If we go up to the element builder and we select oxygen, in exactly the same way we can place the oxygen atom. Now we'll just fill out the hydrogens using the familiar add hydrogens tool and we'll see that we have ethanol. Or do we? Whilst these carbon hydrogen bonds look realistic, we've just put these atoms wherever we fancied. We could have made the bond as long or as short as we liked. Here's where the very useful minimize energy button comes in. If we click this, what the molecule will do is very quickly rearrange itself to be a more realistic structure. For instance, and here we have a rough approximation of the lowest energy geometry of ethanol. Just as before, we can have a good look at the shape or we can take images to place in presentations or projects. We can also make molecules with multiple bonds in. 
if I remove ethanol first. For instance, we can make a molecule of ethene by placing one atom of carbon, clicking and dragging away to make a single bond, and then clicking and dragging again across the same two atoms to turn that into a double bond. Again, if we add hydrogens and minimize the energy, we will get a good approximation of the lowest energy geometry of this molecule. So that's a quick introduction to making molecular models using IQMOL. I hope it's inspired you to make attractive images for your next science project. In my next video, I'll demonstrate how we can visualize molecular vibrations. And don't worry, I'll still be using free open source software. Until then, be kind to each other and goodbye.